For this morning's GRE YROC segment, we are looking at the huge growth and the goals coming up for Edwards in the greater Rochester region. Project manager Jeff Mickle is our guest. Jeff, glad to have you here. Just about a month ago, it seems, we had this, this big ceremony, the groundbreaking for what's going on there in Genesee County. So explain some of the goals here and the growth we're going to be seeing. Excellent. Yeah, very happy to be here. So our, our goal is to grow with our customers. There's a lot of uh, customer growth in the area. There's new stuff going on in Syracuse, Saratoga, Ohio, et cetera. And we want to grow our capacity to match their growth. So the initial uh, building is 240,000 square feet. Uh, and then we're going to put enough equipment in there to produce 10,000 pumps as the phase one. We'll then additional equipment into the same building already laid out. Uh, for phase two and phase three is expanding the building. So we'll add capacity as our customers need it. What is your strategic role in the industry with semiconductors? How will you fit in here? Right. Uh, Ed Edwards is a global leader in advanced vacuum and abatement uh, solutions. Uh, and we support uh, semiconductor as well as uh, industrial and scientific markets, but semiconductor is the biggest one. Um, our customers, uh, when they're making their chips, they all have to be under vacuum. All their various mm -hmm. processes have to be under vacuum. So we, our, our pumps are designed specifically to get the high quality vacuum they need. So we really enable all their manufacturing processes. So they need you for the fabrication right. itself coming yeah. up. What was the decision to do it here? To have the expansion and the build going on locally? Right. Yeah, we wanted to be in uh, greater Rochester, uh, western New York area for, for a few reasons. Uh, one is to be close to our customers, as we say mm -hmm. with the, the building here. Uh, the second one is we had uh, or have great support from the federal, state, and local governments to encourage us to do it here. Uh, but one of the biggest ones is access to green energy. It's mm -hmm. going to be a fully electric site, no greenhouse gases being generated, and we wanted access to the Niagara Falls you know, green, green power as a critical factor. Uh, and then the last one is access to some very fine local universities and you know, hiring some good young engineers. Yeah, just the talent pool. And on that note, what types of jobs are we looking at over the next two years when right. it's fully up and running? Yeah, so the phase one is be about 280 jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest thing we're doing is a CNC uh, precision machining. So a big chunk of jobs will be CNC operators and programmers, uh, a lot of assembly operators uh, to go with that warehouse personnel, and then, of course, uh, engineers, right? So uh, to support that precision equipment, you need to have manufacturing engineers, maintenance technicians, that sort of thing, and all the support, uh, HR, finance, that sort of thing. Yeah, and a lot of that, uh, some of the key positions, they say they'll start getting filled so early next year mm -hmm. and then really ramping up for 2026 for production. Thank you for Correct. coming in and showing that. Congrats on the move and good luck with the build Great. that's going on there. If you want to learn more from our coverage of this year's groundbreaking, highlighting the plans for Edwards and also the jobs coming along with it, you can find all that info as well with our business reporter, Dan Gross, his coverage on RochesterFirst.com under the Y Rock tab.